I'm quite excited because this evening I've come to a secret location in Devon to see some greater horseshoe bats. And I've been here before and it's really spectacular. There's a lane just down here and the bats come flying up and whiz past you, right past your face. You can almost feel the breeze of their, of their wings. It's fantastic. So I'm looking forward to um, filming this tonight. I've got my special camera so we should be able to see them okay. So greater horseshoe bats are one of our rarest bats. Oh, we have some jackdaws making a noise. So they're one of our rarest bats. There's only about 5,000 of them in the whole country and a thousand of them live just down here in a big cave. So when they come, we're gonna see quite a lot of them coming up this lane. So I'm really excited about them. So they are, um, insect feeders so they like to feed on big beetles big dung beetles and all around this area the farmers have been put into um, pasture and uh, dairy and beef cattle because that's what the greater horseshoes like to live on um, insect wise and so there's actually been a huge sort of uh, change in the agriculture around here to make it really good for greater horseshoes and the other thing that they like is big bushy hedges. So you can see we've got big bushy hedges because what they like to do is to, is to perch up on a branch and wait for something to go by and then they dive down and, and uh, then take it back up and chew it there. So sometimes you find insect remains on the ground. Um, so these big bushy hedges are what they follow through the landscape but also where they're doing their perch feeding. So greater horseshoe bats are actually quite big. They're one of our biggest bats with a wingspan of about 16 inches. So um, we're expecting to see some, you know, fairly large bats. They also tend to fly quite low. So um, they'll be kind of swooping quite low. They're not sort of high flying bats. Uh, and then as they're coming up the lane, they tend to sort of leak out into the landscape through the hedges as well. So there's, there's pasture fields either side of here with cows in them and that's where they're going to find their dung beetles. So really excited about this, we just need to wait for it to get a bit darker. And also I'm going to put my bat detector on um, when we start getting them because they make the craziest sound. You would never believe it comes out of an animal. So looking forward to sharing that with, with you guys and um, yeah, enjoy. So in preparation for this evening's bat watch, I'm going to put my bat detector on and I'll just turn it on. It's just a basic bat detector and I'm going to turn it up until you can just about hear a white noise. So there's the white noise, you turn it down until it's kind of only just there. And I've got it set at 45.2, um, it should be 45, that's what picks up most species of bat, but for the greater horseshoes they're way up at 80, so I'm just going to turn it right up to 80, and it's a very high frequency 80 kilohertz, so I've got it on to 80, ready to hear the bats when they come up the lane. So you can see the lane ahead of us and as it gets darker we'll start to get them coming up the lane so just need for, to wait for it to get a bit darker. So we've just heard our first greater horseshoe bat. Did you hear that sound? It's weird isn't it? Oh did you see it? It just flew straight past us. Right, I'm going to keep in a bit so that they can come up the lane okay. And I'll put the bat detector just next to the camera so you can hear it. So, so far I think it's been about three that have come up. Here they come, can you see that? Did you see it? Okay, they're coming up the lane now, and we've had about five come past, but Sam. Oh, it's literally about this high. It's going up the lane, fantastic. I've had up to two or 300 up here before. It's really exciting. And it's just starting to get a bit darker now. So let's see if we get some more coming up. OK, 
Okay, I've put the camera onto night shot now so that you can see them better. They're flying really low, aren't they? Oh, I felt the wind from their wings that time. Amazing. So quite a few of them are coming up the lane here and then shooting through the hedge just here. So I'm just going to position the camera so you can see that better. So some of them are still going past us, but some of them are definitely going up and up through there to the fields beyond. Oh, there's one going off there. another one. There's another one. So I've set my bat detector to 45 which is the frequency that we normally use for other species of bat. And you can still hear the greater horseshoes on it. It just sounds a bit more squeaky. And this is the harmonics that we're picking up. So it's not the peak frequency, which is at 80 kilohertz. But I put it down to 45 because there's also some pipistrels out there. So I'll see if we can hear those. There you go, that was a pipistrel. I can't hear it very well. Oh, the horseshoes are still coming by. <laughs> and you can still hear them on 45, so that's good. So they're still coming up the lane but it feels like it's easing off a bit now. We've had the, most of them. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was so amazing to see all these wonderful bats flying past. They're huge and they're just so low and so full of energy and that lovely warbly sound that they make is fantastic. So um, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Oh, it's still coming. <laughs> and um, We'll catch you later. Thank you very much for watching.